Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to show you how to mount a lens on a lens board. We're going to be working with metal lens boards today, like the uh, Linhof style board or the Canon Toyo style board. Okay, now you'll notice on this 4x5, this 135 millimeter lens, there's a front element, there's a shutter, and there's a rear element. Now both the front and rear element are screwed into the shutter, so the first thing we're going to do in order to mount the lens is put the lens caps on so it don't do any damage. We're going to unscrew the rear element. It takes a minute because it's kind of fine threads. Then we're going to take off the retaining ring. And then you'll notice some lenses have a little tiny indexing screw. Now what would happen is when you mount it on the lens board, you can either cut a notch because what's going to happen, it's going to it won't be able to mount level. So this little indexing screw here, we're just going to remove that. And now we're going to mount this lens on a Canon number zero board. Put the retaining ring back in. And the lip goes inside, because you'll notice that it fits like that. And you can see the space here. So it gives a little bit of lecture, a little bit of, of a light trap. So we're just going to screw this on. And I'd recommend getting a lens wrench like one of these Linos lens wrenches, if I can get it off the table. And they have a zero. These two little notches are for zero shutters. This notch is here for a, a number one shutter. And these, these are bigger ones are for a couple threes, which you won't need unless you're doing eight by ten. We're going to work on four by five now, so we're just going to use the number zero. Just putting little notches on the retaining ring. And the way I like to do the shutters is, I like to have let me just turn it all the way. Here we go. I like to have it so that when I cock the shutter, it's on top. And you'll notice there's aperture scale on the top and on the bottom. So sometimes if your camera's high and you're short like me, you can look at the one on the bottom. And you'll see this little knob here is for adjusting your aperture scale. And right here, it's a little hard to see. I have to unscrew the other thing, but I'll show you that in a minute. Let me just, put the re let me just tighten it first, now that I have it set the way I want it. Okay, put the rear element in. Come on. Just work on a nice large flat surface so you don't drop anything. Okay, now we're tight. And if you look in here, it's a little hard to see. Let me see if I can get the front element off. Yep. Again, it takes a lot of... Right here, you can see these are your shutter speeds. And it'll just be easier to see this way without the front element. This little lever here is for when you're focusing. Set it for wide open. When you're ready to take your picture, you just stop down your lens, whatever f-stop you want. And this little lever here closes the shutter. And then to make sure, cock the shutter, and you're set. So let's put the front element back on. And I'll put the lens cap back on. I hope this helps showing you how to mount a lens on a lens board. Thank you very much.